three. Uh, all right, uh, hello everyone. We have Janis Ar Khan from Austin Athletics, uh, one of the star performers for this season with us, and obviously uh, someone who has been playing uh, across formats and different tournaments all over US. Uh, Janis Ar, by welcome to the show. Uh, I'm Dr. Nikhil Bhatt, uh, who's part of the commentary panel for the Musa Stadium. Uh, one of the things pers on a personal note I would like to mention uh, is that the first game of minor league uh, which Austin Athletics played, and I very distinctly remember Janis Sarbhai, um, who actually came to me and said, like you, that is the commentators, you all are doing a great job. And that was very nice of him and uh, that just showed how humble he is uh, just to sort of come and uh, give us that confidence uh, as we went into minor league for this uh, commentary stint. So thank you, Janis Arbai, for that. And uh, obviously, uh, we are excited and we are looking forward to more uh, performances from your end. And uh, the performances that we have seen so far from you, I mean, those have been inspirational. Personally, I play at the club level and it's always an inspiration to see uh, performers like you doing this at the minor league level. Uh, I have my fellow commentator and who's part of the commentary panel, Dr. Bhavik Makwana, who is on the line. And he is going to basically lead this interview with you, Janis Arbai. So uh, welcome from my side, and I will be handing over uh, this uh, conversation now to Bhavik and looking forward to this chat with you, Janis Arbai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excited. Thank you. Thank you, Nikhil. And uh, welcome, Janis Arbai. It's an honor Thank to you. host you here. Uh, just will, it will be a brief one, so I will just want to uh, jump straight to the question. Firstly, uh, I do want to congratulate uh, Austin Athletics for being on the top of the table right now. How is the atmosphere right now in the camp of Austin Athletics? Uh, the camp is, uh, thank you very much, uh, whatever Dr. Sabhat said, and I'm very excited, you know, the, you know, the, the, the way it's student season move in the beginning. The, so far, Austin Athletics, we are on the top of the table, uh, although we, you know, it was a similar when we started, we've lost the first game. And the second half started, we lost the first game, but uh, thank God we picked it up again. Uh, the, the guys gel up, uh, you know, again after 15 days time. So, yeah, some decent performances from individuals, all of them, uh, the fans, the sponsor, you know, every single person, uh, the, the team management, they're doing such a good job. Uh, so, yes, they're doing, we're doing really good at the moment, yes. Absolutely, you guys are. And I do want to quickly uh, remind our viewers to, uh, of the performances that you actually uh, got a couple of men of the matches um, in, in uh, quite quick succession. You got against Michigan Cricket Stars, uh, you gave away six runs and took three wickets in just three overs and scored a valuable 28 runs to chase the total of 95 down. Uh, and then against St. Louis Americans, and I will come back to the Super Over game. But before that, that was uh, 20 runs you gave away in, in the bowling and you took three wickets um, and you scored a 16 ball 24. So you got men of the matches in both of those games. Can you quickly take us back to your mindset? Uh, how, how, how were you thinking and what was the, what was the game plan like? Uh, yeah, getting man of the matches, I think it's uh, three straight uh, man of the matches, two against uh, and one against Michigan. So kind of hat trick. Um, yeah, yeah it, was, it was good. Uh, I just tried to uh, share my experiences whenever team needed because I'm in uh, that uh, business for quite a long time. Um, it's been 25 years old together when I started professional career when I was 15 years old and played first time in a uh, World Cup. Uh, in England and uh, for representing Pakistan back then and still existing in that environment. Um, still, I have this, uh, you know, uh, hunger for scoring runs and getting wicket, although I'm not running from 30 yards though, but still try to hit those areas where I need to bowl and whatever, like the team needs. So I'm trying to be like supportive person rather than, but uh, thank God uh, the things are moving pretty good. It's coming in my way. Um, and um, I'm very blessed and because of the team management and uh, they, they, they really pushed me. Uh, I wasn't, as you know, I'm a selector of team, uh, youth team and I was not excited to play this kind of, you know, and uh, 
but uh, thanks to Saki Mohammed and Kuldeep uh, Bhai, they forced me to. They said, we need you. You need to play this tournament. I said, okay. Um, okay, so, yeah, but uh, my role is uh, to create that environment, what I did for the Team USA in past, when we got the ODI status, and I was kind of a uh, player come coach for the last Division Three and Division Two, And, um, you know, small little things, small little deb- uh, Ws, uh, I always, uh, you know, I'm greedy about that. I just want to try to win the game and try to be a... Uh, one thing I learned in my uh, in beginning, very beginning, is doesn't matter how big player you are, but one of the famous, uh, my, my coach or my senior player, his name was Kabir Khan, and he told me in the age of 15, 16 years old, and he told me that, you know, it's... It's not, uh, it's not all about playing for international cricket or test cricket. It's all about how big you professional you are. So, so I, I learned that thing from the beginning and it's helped me a lot. Um, so that's uh, uh, whenever I play in the field, I try to dive around. I, I try to, you know, uh, make that sports an intent. So I give my 100% every time. Yeah, that's for me. Yeah. So absolutely. You, you talked about the third man of the match. That's what I was coming uh, up with. Like when you scored a 38 ball 54 against the uh, St. Louis Americans and you hit that six in the, in the super over. Uh, so that was, that was a great game. I uh, totally can uh, understand like, you know, how the Austin Athletics must be feeling uh, after that. Now you mentioned about being an experienced campaigner. You, you have been playing professional cricket since 25 years. So what is your role like in the team right now, Uh, especially like, you know, when you bring all that experience to uh, like young and someone like maybe Laksh and like, you know, a few of your younger guys. So a good thing is uh, uh, been living in Houston for quite a long time. And uh, Laksh is like in front of me. He grew up when he was like uh, 12 years old. The first time we went with us, even with Manish Bhai, with his dad, uh, to Dallas, like Central West uh, tournament, like Houston and Dallas. And for the experience, they're still, you know, uh, getting all. But uh, some people are very good, keen to learn uh, from learning from the senior. So we have a bunch of kids where they wanted to learn a cricket, you know. Although cricket is still very in an immature level here in the United States, but uh, the kids are very smart and they're trying to learn and... Uh, uh, um, uh, we have a really good, good bunch of youngster, even though in a, like, it's a combination of youth. A good thing about the, you know, franchise cricket is like two youth cricketers. Uh, that's a really, that's a, in modern cricket. That's the only thing I like it because uh, in past where we came from, like, you know, back in the days, first class cricket and all this, there is a no option, but in franchise cricket, 121 and 119, they can learn a lot. Uh, that's a very good part. So we have a bunch of good combinations. Shayan, Jangir, and Nitesh doing really good. That um, we got like uh, international players. Always, yeah. Previously, we had uh, William Perkin as well. And that's a mix of uh, everything. Then you can see the captain is doing such a good job. So our, we are like, and Jagreet and Jay and all of them, the management, like we have a super good, you know, unit. Because of everything is behind, we have two think tanks, like Sakhi Mohammed and Kuldeep Patel. They're pretty, uh, you know, uh, they've been in cricket for quite a long time running this kind of shows. So they know their jobs and with their family support as well. And that kind of uh, makes you, you know, uh, it's, it's good. it feels good in a, in a dressing room and outside the dressing room as well. Definitely. It sounds like a really professional and a well neat unit. Um, I do uh, want to thank you for your time. Uh, I want to wish you uh, and Austin Athletics all the best for the upcoming games. Um, and thank you so much. I just want to say a few words that you yeah. guys are doing uh, such a good job. And uh, as I mentioned that in the beginning, I've been a commentator back then as well. But uh, um, but you, uh, Mr. Walter, you, Bhavag Bhai, and you, know, you guys really... I was batting and I watched this video uh, after the game. The way was my mind was running and some of the comments was coming that you're reading the batsman mind and baller mind as well. 
so that's very awesome you know so i wish you good luck for your uh, you know in commentator profession as well you know okay. thank you thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you. janus sir bye thank you thank you have a good one thank you thank you